I no longer go to Microsoft Word when I want to write something or when I want to work on a book idea. Instead, I go straight to Canva. I open up a doc. I start writing. And it just made me wonder, could this be the end of Microsoft Word as we know it? Especially for those of us who love to self-publish books. I don't know. Let's dive in. Microsoft Word was so crucial for me to use on a day-to-day -day basis. I would go here, I would start writing my manuscript, chapter one, and I would start writing so on and so forth, right? And then if I was stuck, I would head on over to ChatGPT, I would write a prompt, and then what would I do? I would copy, I would go to Microsoft Word, and then I would paste it here, and then I would just go ahead and modify it. Long gone are the days when you do that, why? Because Canva has something, an AI called Magic Write. So all you have to do is ask for a prompt and it just begins writing for you. Let me give you a little demonstration. What you're going to do is the following. Very simple. We're going to go ahead and click on create a design. Then here, you're going to go ahead and click on where it says doc. What you're looking at right now, before we use Magic Write, okay, I'm going to go ahead and click on H1 or H2. These are just the style of the heading. If you notice, when I click on H1, it changes the font and the size. And when I click on H2, heading number two, it, it also changes the font and the size. Now, what's interesting is that when I click on the plus sign and I go ahead and scroll down, you will see... Almost the same things you see on a Microsoft Word document. However, we have this brilliant option, which is called Magic Write. When I click on Magic Write, I, I can go ahead and give it a prompt. And it has here, as you can see, it says idea brainstorm, blog post, project proposal. And that's why I was telling you that I used to use this almost every day because if I had to write a blog for a ministry or I had to brainstorm a specific idea, I would do everything on Microsoft Word. But now with something like Canva and this whole magic write, I no longer have to juggle between ChatGPT and Microsoft Word. Instead, I can do everything here. I can put the graphics here. I have elements to work with. I can do a market strategy. I can do a case study. I can do it all here, okay? Let me go ahead and give this a prompt. Write a one paragraph chapter introduction to a book about mental clarity, okay? I'm going to go ahead and click on generate. We're going to do something cool here. It says chapter one, the gateway to the mental, to mental clarity. And it's basically just going, going, and that is perfect. Let's say I want to go ahead and I like this. I can just click on insert. Okay. You see automatically we have the heading. It's in bold. We have it as a, as heading number one. Now we're going to go ahead and just continue here. I can even add. Look how cool. I can add a design. I can click on design. Okay. And it's going to pull up options. Okay. So let's say, for example, you're doing something for work or you want to write your blog post and you want to add some designs. You can and you have the options right here. Let's say I want to stick to this generic one and you can go ahead and change what it says. And let's say we're going to write mental clarity. Okay, you're like, okay, great. I love this. Let me go ahead and save it. You can remember, look at the options of over here. You can go ahead and change the color. You can even animate it if you'd like. I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm going to click on save. As soon as I click on save, guess what? We have a design. Now let's go ahead and let's say I want to continue writing some more. Let's click on that plus sign. And let's say I'm going to use heading number one and I'm going to say chapter two. Uh, focus, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and go down. I just went ahead and clicked enter. And then I'm going to start writing a brief uh, sentence. To develop focus is crucial. I'm going to stop right there because this is what I'm going to do. Let's say I'm going to go ahead and click period. I'm going to go ahead and you see how I went ahead and clicked twice. I'm going to click on here where it says magic, right? This pencil. And guess what? Now we have more options. Let's say I have zero clue what I want to continue to write. 
not a problem. We're going to go ahead and click on continue writing. The AI will continue to write something for me based on that small sentence that I typed in. Oh, and then and there you have it. Let's say I want this and I'm like, okay, cool. I want to go ahead and add this. I can go, I don't, I don't click on replace because replacing would mean that it would replace what you wrote. We don't want to replace. We just want to go ahead and add it. So what would I do? I would click on add below and it added it right to the sentence that I created. Guys, go ahead and try it. Start playing around with it because it's life changing. Let's say I didn't like, uh, it sounds too serious. Let's say I'm doing this for work and all of the content here, it just sounds too serious. I want to go ahead and change it, maybe rewrite it. I went ahead and highlighted those three paragraphs. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on that little magic uh, pencil or pen. And then it says rewrite, but it says more fun. It gives you an option of another, another way of writing what the AI had already written, but in a more light tone. It says to sharpen your focus, it's like tuning a guitar absolutely essential. So you see, it sounds a little bit more laid back, which I like. Uh, we can go ahead and replace it or add it below. We're going to go ahead and click on replace. And guess what? It just replaced the text for you. As you can see, using a doc on Canva and using that whole uh, magic, right? Can make it a lot easier for you to come up with text, maybe digital products, informational products that you want to create. Let me go ahead and click on this plus sign. And let's say I want to go ahead and add a table. I'm going to go ahead and click on table and you see, you can go ahead and choose how do you, how you want the table, how many rows, how many columns I'm going to go ahead and click like this and see what happens. Guess what? We have a table. Okay. And then you can go ahead and add maybe some statistics on this table or some, you know, more information. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this right now. I want you to see something. We added a table and what happened? It elongated the document. What do we do? We go ahead and add a space. We can click here on the plus sign. We're going to go all the way down and we can click on page break. And guess what? We have a brand new document. All you have to do now is continue to add content. Let's say we have, let's say we want to do another chapter. Okay. We're going to go to heading number one, and we're going to put chapter three, learning. And then we're going to continue. We, we click on enter and we continue to write the rest of the chapter. You can use this to write your manuscript. You can use it for work. You can use it for a wide range of different tasks. Now, if you don't want to go ahead and use that doc, that's not a problem. What I like to do is I go ahead and create a new design and the template is an 8.5 by 11. Let's say you don't want to have to use the doc feature. What you would do instead is the following. We're going to go ahead and click on create a design. And then instead of clicking on doc, we're going to go all the way down and we're going to go click on custom size. Under custom size, we're going to go ahead and put 8.5 by 11 inches. We're going to click on that. And now we have a brand new document. It's an 8.5 by 11. This was where you would start. All you would need to do is go ahead and click on text. We can click on magic, right? And you would start asking the prompt or just go ahead and click on text, click on heading. And then that's how you start your chapter process, which is what we were doing before. And you could do it here. Click on text. And then you can go ahead and click where it says add a little bit of text. But also what's actually really cool is we're going to go ahead in here and click on page numbers. Now, this is very important if you're a self-publishing author. Why? Because when you are publishing your paperback book on Amazon KDP, now instead of manually going page by page to go ahead and put in a page number, now Canva has this feature where it will do it for you. So that is pretty cool. As you start adding more pages, you see the numbers start changing. Let me go ahead and uh, uh, maximize that. Let's say I add another page. I add another page. I add another page. And guess what? It's already numbered for you. It makes it so much easier when you are trying to format your book uh, for Amazon KDP. So that's actually really cool. 
And again, if you want to go ahead and use magic right, you can. You go, go ahead and give it a prompt. Provide one paragraph describing mental clarity. And we're going to go ahead and click on generate. It's going to generate content for you. We're going to click on insert. And guess what? You have your content here. All you have to do is continue to write more and more content. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn more about Canva's magic, right? Go ahead and watch this video over here. See you there.